Ahem. Ahem. Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we have another dope video for you guys. So today we're gonna be playing with Pugnail. Um, you guys I don't think I've seen Pugnail on the channel at all. He is and has been one of like literally one of my closest friends. Literally like one of my rider dies since way back in the game, I'm talking like almost two years ago. He is one of the homies and I thought why not bring him on the channel. So today what we're gonna be doing is playing some duo showdown on Cavern Churn. So this is the map and this is actually one of the maps in duo showdown that I don't mind that much. Just because there's a lot of you know various comps you can run in different metas. You you see a lot of high school brawlers such as Rico or Colt or Bo here. So I thought, you know, why not whip out the duo showdown? You guys rarely see it on my channel. You know, thought might as well bring it out for you guys. So we're just gonna be playing with, in my opinion, what I think the best comp is, which is gonna be Bo and Shelly. Now, my Shelly at the time of this recording is at 847 trophies. So unfortunately, I can't play the Shelly because matching is just gonna take forever. But we're gonna have Pug on the Shelly. We're just gonna give him some vision with the bow. We got that mines down because there are a lot of grass so it can cut off some areas. And with that being said, let's just hop into the first game and let's see if we can have some success in Showdown, which you guys know I historically do not find much of. Okay, so here we go into the first game and we're gonna be on the bottom right spot, I believe, which isn't too bad. We have pretty good access into the grass straight off the bat. Now I do wanna go usually before Pug, early game, it doesn't really matter. But um, I wanna go before Pug into the grass just because again, I have that sight of view. Okay, so it's apparent that there are things close to us here. Looks like there's a bull pushing on this side. We can see that bull, but he cannot see us. Same thing with the Shelly. So we're going to get a few shots off on the Shelly. No, he does have Band-Aid, so that's not very good for us. I'm assuming Pug has Band-Aid since that guy did. Just giving him vision over here for this bull. We should be able to take that out. We got it really low, but we weren't able to do so. Okay, so we're just going to back off a little bit over here. Oh, we actually got exploded. We should go down. Okay, somehow we're still alive. I don't really know how. But we are, and I'll take it. So we're just going to go over here. The Shelly is going to continuously bother us. It does have Bandit, and we're going to go down. So still five teams left. Now, if any of one of us two were to die, I'd rather it be me, since I'm just here for the vision, where Pug's more here for the DPS. Come on, Pug, get him. Ooh, okay, that activated his Bandit. Now, we can still third-party a team, so this is definitely not the end of the world right now. I'm um, just going to throw that over there. I thought the Rico would be going back up there. We should be able to get him. Okay. So there's a kill on the Rico. So we're just going to get a little bit of power with that. Not too much. So it looks okay. It's not a last place finish for us, which is pretty good. Okay. There's a Shelly over here. Odds are that she does have Band-Aid. We're going to have to watch out for that. Pugnail just uses Super. Right back at it. We're going to go down again. Tick is really lethal. I didn't think Tick was that good here. Okay. Pretty interesting. So Pug's going to be shot into the corner, basically. I'm pretty sure he does have Band-Aid. So it's not that bad. My mines, I mean, I guess they're still in play. I'm dead, but my mines live on forever. So they're chilling over there. Um, this Rico's pretty low, so maybe we can get him into a corner. We're able to pick up that kill over there. We're going to get a bolt. Not a bolt, sorry. A power-up, whatever. We're going to get a second one over here. And, wow, that tick is annoying us. Okay, so there's a dynamite over here. That's pretty easy from close range to kill. So we're going to be able to pick it up. Unfortunately, Pug is going to go down. We're just hoping for a second place at this point. We're able to get that kill, so this is looking pretty good for us. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, okay, that's a second place. The situation we were in actually was pretty bad, and the fact that we were able to get out of that with the second place is pretty lucky on our end. So we're going to hop into a second game. We're plus seven so far, so it's a really good start. Let's see if we can continue the domination. Let's just hop right into the second game. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and we're going to be getting that top right spawn over here. So I think we're just going to go down for this middle box. We're going to see what Pugnail wants to do. Pug does play a lot more showdown than I do. So we do have to kind of listen to him. Oh, no. I forgot that it hit Pug, too. That is not very good. That is not the start you want over there at all. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's actually pretty interesting because I've... Oh, what? What? There are three boxes over here? Oh, we just got blessed. Oh, my God. Oh, we got so lucky. Pug is spinning. He knows the luck that we just got. So already four teams left, and we have three each now. So that's actually pretty good. Really surprised that those boxes were still there, actually. I do have a little bit of shot delay for some reason this game, but it's not too bad. So we're on the outside right now, so we can't really force ourselves too much in here. We just got to try and chill and take our time. But there is a Shelly. Pug should watch out for it. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. I managed to pick up the kill. Oh, okay. So there's two teams left already. What? There are just four. Okay, yeah. So they're, we're just going to get completely outmatched here. They're just going to have so many more, like, just power-ups. So many more everything than us. I'm going to go down. Pug is going to go down. And that's a really quick second place finish over there. So we're not doing bad. I think what we're going to do, actually, though, is switch over to Tick. So I'm going to be playing Tick. Uh, we'll keep Pugnail on the, sh on the Shelly, and we'll see what we can do, but I think that comp might be a little bit superior. So let's try it out, and, you know, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here we go into the third game, and we're going to be rocking the Tick here. And I'm going to go to the top right, because maybe there are boxes there. I don't know. Last time, there were three for no reason, so maybe there will be this time. Okay, there's one, so we're just going to leave that for Pug. We don't have that crazy vision anymore, though, so it's not like we can just go into the bushes and do whatever we want. Because we can't see ahead, so we do have to be... A little bit safer here so we're gonna stick to these like outside boxes basically because no one can really sneak up on us or do anything that we can't see so we're able to get this tick low so i'm actually just gonna push it a little bit further here i was able to get another hit on him okay he is pretty low we have three each so it is a fair playing field right here i'm gonna throw some down that lane we should be able to pick up the kill we are going to be able to and i'm just gonna go in here and pick up the two. Oh god that was a little bit risky, almost got me down. So Pug's doing a little bit of spinning, because why not? We're just going to lob some over here. Maybe we can find someone. Okay, so we were able to find someone. There is a tick in there with seven, though, so that's a little bit dangerous. Oh, no. Oh, this is not looking good for us at all. Hopefully that can body block. No, oh my god. Is that a third or fourth place? Hopefully a third. Okay, so that's a third. We haven't lost trophies yet. We just finished the third game, so that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't like the amount of uncertainty you have with this comp. It's a little bit odd, but we'll try it one more time. We'll go with it, even though I do like the bow. We'll go with the tick one more time. We'll see what happens, and we'll just run some random comp the fifth game and try to make things a little bit fun. Okay, so here we go into the fourth game here now, and we're going to have a pretty bad spawn. The left side is always a little bit sus. I don't know if there's any boxes up here. No, but there's a team. Interesting. The Shelly just played this situation extremely aggressively. Pug should be able to take that out pretty easily. He will be able to. And I think we just got to stay along the outside, to be honest. I mean, we can go in the middle, but we might just get eaten up by someone in here. <laughs> um, As we were saying, yeah, don't go in the middle with a tick if you're alone. That was not the best decision at all. Pug's going to be able to get that kill as a high IQ showdown player like him. He is going to wait for me to respawn so I can pick up this uh, this power up as well as him. Oh god, I'm kind of scared to go in here now. Okay, so we found the bull. The bull's chilling somewhere over here, towards this upper area. So we're just gonna keep spraying. I gotta move beside Pug, just because he's like my certainty. We kind of know the area they're in right now, so we're just gonna spray a little bit there. Okay, so we've completely lost the Shelly. Okay, there she is. I can't really go too far on my own because I am going to die. So there is a bull. I think the bull was in here. Maybe I hit someone. Okay, I hit a Shelly. Oh, how did a Shelly get here? What? Oh, I have no clue what's going on right now. I'm going to use our super to try and get this bull away from us. Pug's pretty low. We're getting pinched here. This is not looking good. We're going to go down and... Uh, Tick is not the move. I was going to be up front with you guys. Do not go Tick. I know we had some difficulty versus him. But clearly you guys saw the comfort level and just this the, the fights and all we had. The, the bow was just so much better. So we're going to go into one more game. Um, I don't know what we're going to play. I'm going to think of some fun comp and then we're going to go into it. But I do want the slight chance of winning. So we'll see what we can run. Let's hop into the last game and, you know, let's just hop into it. Okay, so here we go into our fifth and final game. And I decided to go with Tara. Now, why did I decide to go with Tara? Because I thought, you know, it's it probably won't happen. But we do have the chance to make some really special plays in this showdown map with Tara. So I thought, why not give it a go? So we're just going to be patrolling the middle over here. We do some decent damage with our team comp. It's nothing special. Let's try and get this Shelly. Maybe not. Oh, a team of double Shellys? You hate to see it. So let's see if we can just chip our super over here. We obviously can't go face to face with a Shelly because that won't go very well unless it's like half health or something. We got this one over here pretty low. Oh, Pugnail's able to get that bandaid off. That was a really good kill by Pug. Oh, we're going to get hit by that. That gives up our sneak location. Okay, so I think I'm just going to move up over here. Hopefully we don't run into anybody. I'm going to let Pug go first or at least be near Pug so I can go behind him. 
if we do find somebody, but nobody yet. Let's go to this lower portion over here, just check it out. Didn't find anyone. So it looks like everyone's on the outside. So we're like the only team in the inner half right now, which is a pretty good advantage, but I still need to charge my super. Oh, okay, let's stay away from that. Okay, we actually managed to get a kill over there, which is pretty interesting. Both Shelly's are just gonna go over here. We're able to get that double pull. The Band-Aid was activated. We're killed by a long range super. That's just terrible, man. The Band-Aid really saved them. That's unfortunate. There's a Frank on the bottom. Oh, Pug's just going in. Oh my god. Pug just destroyed them. Wow. I should be really close if not having my pull. I don't know. Okay, I'm just close at this point. I think it's two more cards I need to hit. Let's work on doing that over here. There's one. Almost at the second. So Pug is, I think, the strongest brawler on the map at the moment. So it does obviously give us a pretty big advantage. Oh no. Okay, Pug is able to get the kill there. We're pretty low. It's a showdown situation right here. We're basically forced into this corner by the tick. We did just manage to get out of it though. I don't know where the last brawler is, which is really interesting. Okay, so it just spawned. So we do have a double suck opportunity. Or at least a suck opportunity. We're going to pull the Shelly over here. We're going to get that kill. And there's it's just no match over here for this tick. I kind of do feel bad. But we managed to pick up our first win. And it was with the YOLO comp. And that's just amazing. So anyways, GG's to Pug. That was a really good video. And I actually gained in Duo Shutdown for the first time in forever. So that's super, super awesome. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm probably going to do some more Duo Shutdown. Just because I'm having a little bit more fun with Shutdown as of late. Especially Duo Shutdown since there's like no teaming here anymore. But yeah, that's going to be it. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, shout out to my editor, Connor. I'm going to put his Twitch link in the videos that he edits in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He's literally the funniest Brawl Stars streamer. I mean, there's a lot of big YouTubers or good pro players on the, on the Twitch platform for Brawl Stars. But I mean, Connor is, Connor is one of a kind. His personality is, is like no other. So definitely check him out. But that's going to be it for the video. Again, I already said this, but like, comment, and subscribe. That's going to be it. I'll be back for you guys tomorrow. Peace. Love you.